Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great and wonderful day. And I'm sorry for the late videos today, guys. I apologize. I will try to do a bit better here. Gonna get these videos out in a more earlier time span. Um, so uh, be prepared for for tomorrow. I'll have videos out quite a bit earlier. Okay, so I'll probably get them out around two, two thirty, give or take. Well, uh, isn't quite a bit earlier, but earlier than I have been releasing them. I tell you that right now. Um, so. Uh, Without further ado, we'll go with this. So, apparently, the Democrats are trying their very hardest to get Trump. All of us, we know this. And uh, it seems to be faltering in every single way possible. Because what we have here is um, Georgia court puts court puts pause on finding what is a sweeping election in case against Trump. And I, I'm going to be going against, go, be making a video about this at some point, too. I also want to do a stream. I'm probably going to be doing a stream at some point next week on a Tuesday to see, uh, get you guys, um, to, uh, uh, to, to talk about, you know, some of their, uh, black people, what's happening to black people in America today, what are some of our problems are, because I, I think it's important to know you, to tell you guys what's going on with the black people, but enough with that. We have here in a major setback to the Fulton County District Attorney. The Georgia Court of Appeals on Wednesday put a pause on any proceedings, uh, related to the 2020 election interference case against Trump, former President Trump and co-defendants until it hears the case to disqualify Fannie Willis in October. The appeals court has tentative, tentatively scheduled a, a hearing date on October 4th for the appeal by Trump and his co-defendants to embattle Willis disqualified from the case due to an improper affair with former Pro Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. The appearance court action will, will, will action all but solidifies that Willis sweeping ratchet hearing against the 45th president will not go to trial before the 2024 election in November. The Georgia Court of Appeals has properly stayed all proceedings against President Trump in the trial court pending its decision on an indiculatory appeal, which argues the case which should be dismissed in Fulton County DA, Willis uh, should be disqualified for her misconduct. Steve uh, Sato, lead defense counsel for Trump, said in a statement. Trump was indicted in August along with 18 co-defendants of the years-long criminal investigation by Willis and state prosecutors in Georgia into his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election in the state. The charges, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, we all, so tell the R people is that uh, Trump looks like he might end up becoming vindicated. Um, Trump also looks like he's being a witting in every single regard when it comes down to these cases. And they can't get Trump on anything because obviously now uh, it, it's been, it, it's it's a, it's it's like almost dead in the water. What one thing that I have with the Democrats as well though too, right, is that they bring up these very bad charges on Trump, right? They bring up their bad charges and they're not sticking. And if the Democrats know, this is my assumption, if Democrats know that they're that they're going to lose these cases. And they're against the law, and I, I'm assuming they, they said they do know, or they or they know, or they willingly know that these cases are not gonna are gonna automatically fail, and the people that are on these cases are gonna have probably a huge political backfire, if not jail. Then that makes the Democrats more evil because that's putting that's that's pretty much um, the Democrats taking a prosecutor that they know that is going to fail, but will do their bidding anyways for political power. And having these people fail and be put in jail, which is really ironic, considering the fact if they are doing this willingly, then that means they're putting black people in jail because a lot of these prosecutors, and that majority of these prosecutors, are black. Alvin Bragg, black. Fannie Willis, black. So, uh, again, it's like they're trying to cater to not only the woke mob, because they're, they're black people, but also that they're also doing it to, you know, uh... Maybe put them in jail again. That's my assumption because I, time and time again, I see it where uh, where Democrats just don't like black people. It's been very apparent now, and it's really disgusting that, pe that black people are even remotely wanting to deal with, deal with these type of uh, frosters, right? Uh, these insane people, which I think black people are waking up. But we, if you guys think, oh, well, you're going off of Fox News, and don't get me wrong, I hate Fox News too. So. With all you other uh, crazy people, we have BBC here saying Trump's Georgia election fraud case delayed for months. An appeals court in Georgia has delayed Donald Trump's election interference trial until it rules on whether the county district attorney Fannie Willis can remain on the case. Lawyers for the former U.S. president have 
repeatedly sought to have Fannie Willis removed from the case, arguing her romantic relationship with another prosecutor created a conflict. Last month, the judge overseeing the case said the court found no conflict of interest and allowed the case to proceed, pending Trump's appeal. But Wednesday's decision will prevent the case from proceeding until the appeal ruling on Willis. The Georgia Court of Appeals is currently scheduled to hear arguments on October 4th, making it highly unlikely that the case will be settled ahead of the presidential election in November. The Trump and 18 others are being prosecuted in the Georgia for conspiracy to overturn the state's 2020 election results, which they deny. The trial was over nearly up upended after one of the co-defendants claimed that Miss Willis was the property defending benefiting from a romantic relationship with the lead prosecutor Nathan Wade. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on here with this whole situation, and uh, yeah, it's not it's not looking uh, too fantastic for them. And then of course we have from CNN politics saying a judge that just indefinitely paused one of Trump's cases, legal analyst weighs in. A CNN legal analyst Ellie Honig breaks down a Georgia appeals, uh, appeals court move to halt the election subversion conspiracy case against former Donald, President Donald Trump and several of his co-defendants. So, yeah, uh, it seems that uh, everything that they're trying to do is backfiring. And I know a lot of these things where, with the Biodronics thing, where uh, Jim Crow remarks with anybody has a right mind knows what he's talking about, we're going to go over that at some point as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to do here, and I think... Uh, also, with the Byron Donalds and the things that they've been doing here with certain black people, I am going to be covering it in my actual uh, in my actual uh, stream. I may believe on Tuesday to show you guys that uh, just the racism that the that the Democrats have towards black people, and when black people don't could don't, don't go forward to. Um, Follow the Bancha, go follow the Democrats. They they end up being coming very racist for some unknown apparent reason. So uh, yeah, but yeah, it seems that this here is um, a thing that's going on. That Trump has been at least delayed from being prosecuted any further until uh, months ahead, probably after the uh, the election. So we'll see how things go. But uh, yeah, the, all things here, every other Democrats doing are is failing, and. It's becoming a W after a W for Donald J. Trump. All right, guys, that's it for video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.